Hey guys, uh, got a new tutorial for you guys. Um, nothing great. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you guys how to add depth of field to your renders inside of Maya. Um, I did the tutorial about five minutes ago. Oh, it took about 15 minutes, but I did not record my voice at all, so I'm going to go through this really fast because I don't feel like going into as detail as I did last time. So basically, just try to keep up with me. Um, it's not that difficult, so should be easy to follow along with. Basically you got your scene, I got a camera set up here, um, uh, if you want to see what I got going on. Um, basically my camera, uh, three objects, and a big old sphere with a, a HDRI map applied to it to, for the lighting. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Anyway, we're gonna go back into our camera, um, got that all set up. Uh, I don't really want to do that, so... <sighs> Go into your render settings, and uh, in here, um, basically what we're going to check off first is that we got our size set up right, 640 by 480. Um, yours is obviously going to be different, but I'm going to do this for mainly for the tutorial. Um, renderable camera, camera 1. you got to make sure uh, mental ray is selected for this. And if you don't have have or see mental ray, that's because you haven't activated it or loaded it into it. So what you do is you go up to Windows, Settings, Preferences, and then click Plugin Manager, and then you're going to go down. And what you'll see in here is Maya to Mental Ray dot bundle. Hit Loaded, check Auto Load, and then hit uh, it should do this thing and just hit Close. Um, then in here you got to select Render Using. Um, don't worry about any of these other things. Uh, quality, um, you might want to crank that up to two for the best quality you can get, and set it to, to filter to gauze, um, and that should be good to go as far as all that stuff goes. But what we really want to pay attention to is this scene passes, uh, the associated passes. I've already done this, but I'll get rid of it to show you guys what to do. Um, basically, what you're going to do is uh, let's see. Let's get rid of that. Click this icon here. What that's going to do is create a new render pass. Now, if you go through here, you can see that there's quite a bit of different things you can get out and use later in different software packages. But for now, what we're going to go to is camera depth. And then we're going to create and close. And it's got scene passes, but it is not associated to the camera. So basically, what we got to do is just click this button, and it should be good to go. Um, back into the common tab. Um, what you're going to want to do, there's different images you can save this out as, um, but uh, what you really, the only one I really know how to do involves using this OpenEXR, which is a single image that contains um, all the data inside the one single file, um, such as your render passes, the lighting information, all that junk. Um, I don't know how, depending on how big your images are, the file sizes could be huge but not uh, enough to take up enough space but anyway just name it um, and if you haven't already done so um, when you render this it will not save on its own so what you do is you, well, this should be a, something you should uh, get in the habit of doing anyway um, just go into file project go to new um, I already created a project but you're going to fill this out browse, set it, and then you're going to hit use defaults, and this is going to create folders for all your different data, like your, uh, well that's going to be in the data folder, but your objects, which is your models, uh, all your scene files, uh, stuff like that. Um, and then after you do that, you go to file, project, set, and then navigate to that folder, and you should be good. Um, we're already done here, so basically what you do check 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 uh, that was pretty fast uh, then hit render which I've already done so we're not gonna worry about that and what I'm gonna do now is go into Adobe After Effects I'm using CS4 so if you do not have CS4 uh, I th someone told me that it would work in CS3 as well so that's not a big problem um, but later when I figure out how to use it with different file types such as JPEGs and stuff uh, We'll get into that and then go into Photoshop and I'll show you guys how to do that. But let's uh, switch over to After Effects.